I'm Ryan Erickson, and this is Project Synchro. So I had a chance this weekend to actually start painting on the car. Uh, spent about seven and a half hours in the shop uh, getting the uh, paint gun all cleaned up and, and degunked and uh, mixing up some uh, primer. I'm using uh, Rust-Oleum 5300 series uh, epoxy primer and white top coat. Friend Mark helped me out quite a bit with that on, on getting things uh, mixed and measured properly. Uh, thinned it out about 10% just with water since it's a water-based epoxy. Did three coats on the bottom of the car. I was actually pretty impressed not only uh, looking at it after the fact how well it turned out but but how easy it was to spray. This is the first time I've used uh, HVLP gun and uh, I don't know I, d I don't think I did too bad. I definitely wasn't great but I was better than I expected for my first time ever using a, a, a gun like that. I would, I would expect a little bit more runniness than I got um, since this is kind of a thicker paint but uh, it went on pretty smooth. I had some runs in some places. I had to do three coats, a, a tack coat that was really fine mist just to kind of uh, uh, get adhesion on the surface. I let that uh, set for about 10 or 15 minutes and then went over that uh, with, a, with a medium coat, uh, which was a little bit thicker than I would have wanted. Um, and then came back over that with uh, about 30 minutes later with a uh, touch-up coat. So I let uh, the primer uh, cure up, set up for, uh, it's been two days now, and came back um, with some 3M seam sealer and a caulking gun and went over the little spots uh, where panels didn't quite fit up perfectly and where I had little gaps and places that I don't want water to get in and uh, uh, gooped in with the caulk on all the seam sealer and spread it out with my finger and whatnot. And uh, now we're just letting that set up, um, preparing to put the top coat on the bottom of the car once that's all, all dried and ready. Um, had uh, my friend John Hebe come over today and help me uh, rivet in the roof vent in the car uh, so that I can actually start uh, priming and painting the roof. Um, it's kind of special. Uh, uh, both Mark and John, as I mentioned before, they have a lot of uh, aircraft building experience. They've actually built their own plane, not only their own rally car, so um, they're both pretty handy with, uh, with a rivet. So John was able to help me uh, do some flush mount rivets on the roof vent so that whenever I uh, prime and paint over the roof, you won't really even be able to see how it's fastened in there, which is kind of uh, contrary to how I've seen any other grassroots car roof vent assembly go. Usually it's kind of a last minute cut a hole in the roof and, and jam her in there with some Harbor Freight rivets and whatnot, but can't thank John enough for his help uh, actually dimpling out all the holes and sizing the proper rivets and whatnot because it, it turned out amazing. So um, really glad he was able to help me that with that. Where we left off this evening is uh, the bottom of the car is ready for a, a top coat of the white epoxy and the roof of the car is ready for a coat of epoxy primer so uh, that's what we'll be doing next time next week on project synchro <laughs>